zero order reaction. A reaction is said to be of zero order if the rate of reaction is independent of the concentration of all the reactants. For example, the combination between hydrogen and chlorine in presence of UV light. This reaction is photochemical reaction. And the rate of reaction does not depend on the concentration of hydrogen or chlorine. So it is independent of all the reactants. And that's why it is known as zero order reaction. Now, rate equation for zero order reaction. If A is the initial concentration, the expression for the rate of reaction of zero order may be written as dx by dt is proportional to a power to zero because it's zero order reaction or dx by dt becomes k a to the power zero which is equals to k because a to the power zero or anything power to the zero is equals to one or rate of reaction remains constant throughout the reaction where k is the rate constant for the zero order reaction the above expression may be written as dx is equals to k dt. This is equation number 1. On integrating this equation, we get integration of dx is equals to k integration of dt, which becomes x is equals to kt plus i. This is equation number 2, where i is constant of integration. At the start of the reaction, when t is equals to 0, x is also 0. Therefore, 0 is equals to k times 0 plus i or i becomes 0. This is equation number 3. Let's put the value of i again in equation number 2. So x becomes kt plus 0. Hence x is equals to kt. This is equation number 4. Or we can say x is proportional to t time. That is the amount of substance reacted is proportional to time. Next is the expression for the half life period of zero order reaction. Half life period is the time taken for half the reaction to complete. It may be obtained as at t is equals to t half x is equals to a by 2 half of the initial concentration. Substituting these values in rate equation that is x is equals to kt we get a by 2 is equals to k t half. So t half becomes a by 2k that is the half life period is proportional to initial concentration now. So let's try to solve one numerical based on zero order reaction. Determine the order of reaction and the rate constant of decomposition of ammonia on a tungsten wire at 857 degrees Celsius from the following data. Data given is total pressure torsh 228, 250, 273 and 318 and time in second is 200, 400, 600 and 1000. So let's try to solve this problem. The rate of reaction will be dx by dt. In this case, change in concentration will be equal to change in pressure. Therefore, rate of reaction becomes dp by dt, where dp is change in pressure. At time t is equals to 400 second, dp by dt is equals to 250 minus 228 divided by 400 minus 200, which is 22 divided by 200 it comes 0.11. Similarly, at time t is equals to 600 seconds, dp by dt becomes 273 minus 228 divided by 600 minus 200, which is 45 divided by 400, and it comes 0.1125. Also, at time t is equals to 1000 second, dp by dt becomes 318 minus 228 divided by 1000 minus 200 which is 90 by 800 and it finally comes 0.1125. So from the above calculated rates of the reaction, it is clear that the pressure is changing but rate of reaction is not changing or rate of reaction does not depend on concentration of any reactant. Therefore, it is a zero order reaction and the specific rate constant is 0.1117 torrs per second. If you like this video, please click on the like button and also subscribe to my channel.